Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan, uh, back with another video for you. And yes, for all the regulars, don't worry, I'm not dead. I've not, do you know what I mean, eloped and, you know, scarped off somewhere with some deliciously tanned Mediterranean brunette, although I'm pretty sure that's what I dreamt about last night. But anyway, slightly off topic, Mr. Strawberry's already laughing, so it's going to be an interesting video. But anyway, I am back uh, to let you know about something that's going to be happening on the Overclock 3D forums. Uh, and it's something, uh, the reason why I'm posting a video about it is because quite a few of you guys out there have always been asking about AMD stuff and the fact that we don't really uh, cover a lot of it on the channel, but that's just because there's not really been a lot released. Uh, and obviously we do know that we've got uh, the new AMD architecture that's going to be getting released fairly soon, although there's been no you know, 100% confirmed dates, but anyway, basically uh, I was approached by AMD a little while back. And they said to me, would you like some processes that you can just dish out on your forums uh, and do a little bit of overclocking with? No stress, do you know what I mean? No massive kind of requirements. Um, just, you know, make sure that the forum members do good build logs, uh, or build logs, or rather overclocking logs. Uh, and it would also be a good way for everybody else to check in and see their progress and maybe also learn how to uh, overclock their AMD stuff as well. Now I was like, yeah, wicked. Uh, and then I mentioned it to a couple of other of my kind of like industry friends that I deal with uh, and uh, just the processes have turned into near enough an overclock bundle for people. And basically what we've got is we've got uh, five lots of kit going out or rather four lots of kit and one bit of kit staying here that we'll be doing the videos of uh, and updates of that uh, me and Mr Strawberry will be playing with. But essentially we've got uh, uh, the CPUs or AMD uh, quad core X4, whatever you want to call it, Phenom 2970s. Uh, and then the boards that we've got are from Biostar, and they're the uh, TA 890FXE, so 890FX chipsets, um, to drop the old AM3 chips in. And then a massive thank you to Sai, because as we uh, remember, uh, I got my hand on the Susanoo quite early. Well, I've actually got six. Now, one of them is uh, for review, and then the other five are going out for the competition. So, we've got uh, one for here, and then one going out to everybody else. So, we've got the, the side Susan here, and obviously this has just been released. It's absolutely enormous, as I'm going to show you in a bit, because I've got one, well, the kit for here already set up. And then also, I need to say a big thank you to Kingston, because we've also got five sets of the Eco Green RAM, 1600 megahertz. And uh, I'm just looking for the voltage on these because it's really low. It's 1.35 volt, 1600 megahertz, 99924 RAM. So uh, basically, the four lucky guys are going to get a set each. Now I need to lean over here because I've written it down because I've not actually told anyone on the forums who's getting the kit yet. Um, so I'm going to announce it with this video and then post underneath. But essentially, Four members uh, are Big Ian88. Now we all know Big Ian anyway. He's a shout. Um, yeah, Superman. Uh, then we've got Marzi99. We've also got Chudley, and we've also got uh, PC Twin. Um, so all four of those four members are going to be getting a kit. Uh, so they'll get the board, the processor, the RAM, and the cooler each. Um, uh, and then uh, one of the kits is also staying here which me and Mr Strawberry will be working on. Now I will sort of say straight from the off that Mr Strawberry hasn't got a clue about AMD overclocking uh, and I'm basically, what I'm going to be doing is basically guiding him or trying to set him down the right roads. Um, but essentially I'll just be covering his progress because uh, I want to, obviously I need to uh, post some videos up for you guys and also to keep the supporters of the kind of mini competition happy. Now I say competition, uh, but basically it's a little thing in between ourselves. I may send uh, the um, I may send the guys uh, something afterwards if I've got something laying around. Uh, but there is no kind of you can win this. But what we're going to do is uh, it's all going to be based on CPUs. So it doesn't matter what graphics card the uh, the members have got. Really makes no difference because everything is going to be 
CPU based and what we'll basically do is uh, for each of the CPU benches, first place will get five points, second place will get four points and so on until the last person gets one point. And then right at the very end we'll add up uh, each of the winners points um, and then we'll see, you know, so we'll have a kind of like a, a stats table to see who won. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. We're going to run it for about a month. To make sure all the members have got at least, you know, I mean, three or four weekends that they can play with it, as well as, you know, during the day and stuff like that, if they so wish. Um, and they will all have their own individual sections on the forums to be able to post in. But the whole point of this competition is it's, although it's, do you know what I mean, we are kind of pitting ourselves up against each other, the whole point is so that we all learn. Um, and we can all kind of discuss and, you know, work out the best way to get the most from it. So, Although it is a competition, it's also kind of like a team effort to try and make sure that everyone gets the most from their kit as well. Which is another reason why we've decided, or I've decided, that you're allowed to make no changes to the cooler. You have to run it with the standard fans. Um, and you have to use the kit that's provided. Uh, when they post uh, validation shots, obviously you need a screenshot of the... Um, the screenshot of the... You know what I mean? Your results and you also need to take a picture of your rig next to your monitor with the results on as well. Um, it sounds a little bit anal when it is because it really doesn't matter that much um, but it's just so that everyone is on a level peg and it's all about the way you tweak the system not about what you add to it so it kind of makes it quite an even playing field um, and if one of us has got a significantly better processor than the other which with you know let's be honest with the silicon lottery um, we could have then at the end of the day, you know, someone could walk off of it quite easily, but it's all down to the old, uh, how you can tweak it. Um, we've got the old processors here, I get sent a lot of stuff now in these uh, kind of cartridges, um, or racks, whatever you want to call them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop you off quickly, I'm going to show you uh, the test bench that Mr S and Mr Strawberry and I will be using, give you a quick look at that. Um, and then look out for updates, but it's not going to be like every week or anything like that. We're just going to do it as and when we get something good or something that we think is worth posting about. Uh, maybe like a, a, a lot of them rolled into one, and I'll also try and keep you updated with stuff that's going on the forum. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link underneath to all the supporters' uh, main websites, but also first one is the one you're going to want to have a look at, it's the one that's going to take you to the section on the forums that we're, um, that we're going to be uh, doing it in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring, literally I'm just going to drag you straight off the tripod now uh, and give you a look. Hopefully the light is a little bit better today because I've changed the bulbs in my studio lights, although I'm still going to get uh, some shrouds I think, but anyway I'm going slightly off topic. Uh, it has been a long time since I've made a video as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to let you have a look at this now. But you can stay there because I'm not going anywhere. Right then. Right, let me sit down. This, oh, I'll stand up, it's huge. Um, there you go, that's the uh, Biostar board. It's actually red and white. Uh, makes a change from uh, all the red and black stuff that we see. And you can see the Suzanne is absolutely enormous. And just to show you the big selection of boxes that we got there. I seem to be doing a lot of videos lately with uh, masses of boxes. Now this is my test bench. Obviously I've got everything in. I'm only using a tiny little graphics card. It's actually one of the new AMD ones um, which you know, let's face it, we don't. We only need it to display so it's not a big problem. It will do everything fine. Got the Kingston RAM there obviously and obviously you can't miss the side cooler uh, but just to let you know I'm going to be using for the benches uh, the new Mushkin Dual 1000 watt power supply and these are quite well uh, priced uh, the reason why I'm using it is because they it's a non-modular so um, it, there's a lot of cables but they say it's meant to be a lot more efficient and stuff and obviously not everyone uh, is that worried about cables uh, but for a bench rig, obviously it doesn't matter. It's a thousand watts, so there's plenty of go there. Um, but they're actually really well priced as well. They're like 130 quid for a thousand watt power supply. Um, so keep an eye on that if you want something. But like I said, they're non-modular. Uh, but it's just something that uh, 
my buddy at um, Muskin asked me if I would like one. Uh, hard drive I've not actually decided on yet. There's a an old Western Digital in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to chuck a solid straight drive or something like that in there yet. We will have to see. But that is essentially what we will be using and it's what all the other members will be using as well. So it's going to keep everything lovely and fair. So, there you go guys. A little bit of an update for you. I am immensely busy with stuff at the moment. Um, but I have plenty, plenty to come for you. There's quite a lot uh, in the pipeline and coming. But, I'm going to love you and leave you. Or, me and Mr Strawberry are going to love... Oh, he put his thumbs up. Me and Mr Strawberry are going to love you and leave you. And, uh, yeah, for all those uh, TTL uh, subscribers that have been moaning I've not been about, I hope this stops the cold turkey and you get at least your fix for the weekend. But anyway, big thank you to, obviously, Scythe, Kingston, and Biostar. And obviously AMD for all the processes. And we will be back with you very soon.